This morning on The Blend, we have Tara, Tara Peterson with us from Crenshaw Peterson Associates. Good to see you. Good morning, Bob. How are you? I'm good. So we've talked about estate plans in the past. And so today I want to specifically talk about setting up an estate plan for minor children and, and sort of, you know, what's the most important thing to think about when you're doing that? Yeah, so there's a lot of important questions that get added to the equation when we're talking about minor children. And one of the things we really want to focus on is who are going to take those kids and who is going to control that money. Sometimes that might be the same people, but sometimes it might not be. Um, and we also want to take a look at the ages of the children. What are we looking at in terms of potential timelines? I have a 13 month, for example. So if something happened to me today, someone is gonna be with my child for many, many, many years. And how do I want to best set up a plan for them for 18 plus years when I'm not there myself, but still exerting, cause let's face it, we parents like to have control, right? So still exerting some of that control over the situation, even though we're not there. So what is the difference then between the options of a basic will, a testamentary trust, and then also maybe like a funded trust? Is one better than the other? Yeah. So those are our three basic plans, the basic will, the testamentary trust, and then a fully funded trust. And a basic will is just going to cover the, the basics going to name who your guardian is, it's going to name who your conservator is, the guardian is who has the child, the conservator is who has the money, but everything is sort of overseen by the court, okay, it's all done through the court system, um, and there's no extra add-in to that will. A testamentary trust is still that basic will, but with added language in there that goes over creating a trust on behalf of the child where the money is going to go into the trust at that time. So you're not creating the trust in advance. It's something that happens testamentarily, so after death. Mm -hmm. And the court helps to, to set that trust up. And then that trust is there to, to, to take over and assist that child as they grow. And it might say that they can have money through growth. It might say that they can have money at 18. It might say that they can buy a car. But there's different rules we can put into that trust. And then lastly, the funded trust is setting up that trust right now, where we change our beneficiaries and everything to that trust. And it's sort of like having a bucket. If we had a bucket, we'd be like putting all of our stuff into that bucket. And if anything happens to us, all the language is already there. The court's not involved in making that language. Yeah, you always have great information, Tara. Thank you so much for joining us on the program.